today I have a kind of a series for you and if you like books about horses you probably would like this one it's uh, the Brayer Stablemates and this particular story is Starlight and it's written by Kristen Earhart and illustrated by Dan Andreessen. And it's got a table of contents. This one has five chapters in it. Chapter one is some good news. Two is Midnight and Starlight. Three, A Winnie of Warning. Chapter four, The Dark Hills. And five is A True Friendship. And then at the end it talks about the horse and then it tells you some information about Brayer as well. Chapter one some good news. One morning, Mr. and Mrs. Clark woke their daughter Haley very early. There's a surprise in the barn, they told her. Haley rushed to the barn. She stopped in front of Midnight's stall. There Haley saw a new foal. Midnight licked the foal's wet coat. She pushed the foal with her nose and the foal stood up. Midnight, she's wonderful, Haley said. Midnight whinnied happily. The filly had a black coat like her mother and she had a bright white star on her face. What should we name her? Mr. Clark asked. Starlight, Haley said. That's a good name, Mrs. Clark said. Starlight will be your horse, Mr. Clark said. Thank you, Haley said. She had always wanted her own horse. She will need special care, Mr. Clark said. It will be hard work, Mrs. Clark said. I can do it, Haley answered. I know I can. Chapter two, Midnight and Starlight. Every day, Haley and her father took care of Starlight and Midnight. They gave the horses water and hay. They took turns cleaning the stall. Haley watched her father train Midnight. Midnight was a good horse. Midnight did everything that Mr. Clark asked her to do. She stood still, she stood still when he brushed her. She let him pet her soft nose. But Starlight was still very young and she did not know how to do what Haley asked. She did not stand still when Haley tried to brush her. She did not let Haley pet her soft nose. Instead, she ran away. Some days, Haley put the horses out in the field. Midnight walked and grazed, but Starlight liked to buck and gallop around the field. She also liked to poke her nose around the fence. There was so much for her to discover. When it was time to come in, Haley called their names. Midnight, Starlight, she yelled. Midnight always came right away, but Starlight did not. Haley had to catch her. Starlight was a lot of work, but she made Haley laugh. Starlight stole carrots from Haley's pocket. Starlight put her nose into everything, but Starlight still wouldn't come when Haley called her. Chapter three, a whinny of warning. One night, Haley and her dad heard a loud whinny. They went to the field. Midnight, Mr. Clark called. Starlight, Haley called. Midnight came running to Mr. Clark. She whinnied and whinnied, but where was Starlight? Haley and her dad went into the field. There was a hole in the fence. It was just the right size for Starling, Starlight to fit through. Dad, Haley cried, Starlight is gone. Don't worry, Mr. Clark said, we will find her. Mr. Clark and Haley looked in the other fields. They looked in the barn. No starlight. 
Where could she be? Haley asked. We haven't looked in the hills, Mr. Clark said. We should go there. Chapter 4, The Dark Hills. A cold wind blew. There were dark clouds in the sky. A storm was coming. Haley followed her dad into the hills. Haley made a wish. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might have my starlight come back tonight. Just then, the star moved. A high whinny filled the air. The star came closer. Starlight, Haley called. Starlight stepped out of the darkness. She trotted toward Haley. Chapter five, a true friendship. Haley ran forward. Starlight, it's out. It, Starlight, it's you, she yelled. She threw her arms around the filly. Good work, Haley, Mr. Clark said. Let's take her home. Soon they were back in the barn. Haley's mom was there with midnight. You found Starlight, Haley's mom said. Starlight found us, Haley said. She heard me call her name. She came when you called, Mrs. Clark said. She is really your horse now. Haley put Starlight in the stall with Midnight. Midnight nuzzled her foal. Mr. Clark fed Midnight a carrot. Then Starlight pulled the carrot from Haley's pocket. Haley smiled. Uh, it tells you about the horse itself, some facts about Morgan horses, which is what this uh, uh, type is. And then it also talks about other horses, uh, other stories in the series. And we have several of those at reach. We have Diamond and Dash and Snowflake. And these are available for you to come to get five free kids books with your family every time you come in. Keep reading. I hope you're having a good summer and you are having lots of activities and good time with your family. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.